You know, as parents, we always tell our little kids not to get into a car with a stranger. But the fact of the matter is, most young people who are kidnapped by strangers are actually teenagers. And that got us to wondering, would college students actually recognize a dangerous predator? Well, consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here to tell us about an investigation that we did that every parent needs to see. And I think this is shocking what you found out. Susan, Absol good morning. Absolutely. Good morning, Hannah. We set up an experiment near two college campuses. Campuses. We wanted to see if we could lure students off the street and into a van. What we found is an eye-opener. Princeton University, home to some of the brightest young minds in America. But would these students be smart enough to spot a predator on the prowl? And you're a student here? Yes. Oh. The man with the white hair is Ken Wooden, a child safety expert who's pretending to be a modeling agent looking for young faces to star in a commercial. For sound purposes, get in there. Okay. Even though this college student is surrounded by four strange men, within seconds, Wooden gets her in our van. Susan Copen from CBS News. That's when I step in to tell her it's a setup. I, I thought exactly. it was a little weird, but I was like, eh. He gave me a card. There are people around, but... He made that on his computer. Yeah, doesn't look very professional. <laughs> <laughs> but you were willing to get in the car anyway. I know. What if, what if these were bad guys? I would be dead right now. What year are you? And look at this student. He also gets right into our van when he hears he can be in a commercial. These kids fell hook, line, and sinker. Yes. Bait the hook well, and the fish will bite. That's what we did. We really put some bait on those hooks. Ken Wooden has spent years interviewing criminals about the tactics they use to lure victims. We had him put some of the most common and deadly lures to the test. You got a second? I'm with the sheriff's department. Someone this time, Wooden poses as a cop investigating a theft on campus. He lures students to his van to look at surveillance video. He's not wearing a uniform or driving a police car, but this boy gets right in. So does this one. This student walks over, but balks at getting inside. And same with this girl. But Wooden says she's still in danger. She knew it was wrong to get in the van. Yes. But she still got over there with you. And a little young lady like that, someone who's crazy enough with the adrenaline, she would have been a goner. They could have pushed her right in. Easy, easy. Could you throw those in my car for me? But Wooden says the easiest lure is this one. The predator pretends to need assistance. In this case, Wooden wears a sling and asks for help loading boxes into his van. Student after student falls for the trap. Just push him back there. He didn't appear threatening, so I didn't have a problem helping him. That's what people said about serial killer Ted Bundy. He used this exact lure to snatch many of his victims. These are college kids, and I think we assume that they know better. Because they look out for a monster-type person, not someone with a good story, not someone who has the art of deception down to perfection. So would students who study criminals be more street smart? We left Princeton and went to John Jay College of Criminal Justice in New York City. I'll give you $100 if you just sit in the car and give me directions. This time, Wooden pretends to be lost. He offers students cash if they get in his van and help him drive downtown. If you're thinking, who would fall for that, just watch what happens. Enticed by the money, these kids get in our van and drive off with a complete stranger. And it wasn't a fluke. Just be my co-pilot. This student also falls for the lure, hops in, and Wooden drives him away. When we stop them around the corner, the boy admits the offer of quick cash clouded his judgment. You go to school for criminal justice. And here I am getting in the cars of strangers. You got in a car with a stranger? Yeah. What do you think about that? No, it's weird. Like, as I was getting in the car, I was like, wow, I never thought I'd be doing this. Go ahead. Many students told us they were uneasy about getting in the van, but were ready to fight back if Wooden tried something. Do they have a chance? I don't think they do. What is a kid going to do who's caught by surprise, who's paralyzed by fear, and there's a knife at the throat? Go ahead. It would be easy to abduct any of these kids if they were tied up, and that's exactly what Wooden tries to do in this next lure. I just know you would be good. He tells this student if he gets in the van, he'll be part of a reality show. The catch? His hands need to be duct taped together. Just a little bit. So that Believe it or not, he lets us do it. Good. Stay right there. You're golden. If he was a bad guy, what do you think would happen to you? 
I would have been, I would have been in trouble. I can't, I can't get out of here. Is that a death sentence, letting somebody do that to you? Yes. My God, yes. It put a cold, cold chill down my spine, because I know kids have been found dead with duct tape. He was a goner. A goner. And almost every student who fell for our con told me they felt weird about the situation or they were scared to get in the van, but they did it anyway. Just Hannah. seeing that kid having his hands duct taped, it's so frightening. It is. How many kids actually walked away? We did have kids who walked away. Probably one in four walked away, but a majority of the kids either got in the van or got close to the van. I mean, what can we tell our teenagers? Whether it's a small kid who's eight or an right. older kid who's 18, Ken Wooden says teach kids the lures so they know what the cons do to get them to the van or try to abduct them mm -hmm. and also tell kids to trust their gut all these kids said they knew something was weird but they didn't trust their gut right they had a bad feeling susan copen thanks so